good morning students today we are going to do this writing section topic that is analytical paragraph let us understand the meaning of the word analytical the word analytical has come from the word analysis and what is analysis this means when we go through something thoroughly draw some inference out of it we call it analysis right and analytical paragraph is the topic in five marks which we where we need to write a paragraph on the basis of the analysis done of the given input the input may be a chart it may be a, a picture covering some facts and figures it may be a pie chart bar graph or any other visual or verbal stimulus right verbal or visual input on the basis of that input we need to create our analytical paragraph after analyzing it right let me share the screen with you so that you can understand better right so let us begin children right now what is an analytical paragraph an analytical paragraph is a form of descriptive writing which is written on the basis of a given chart graph data outline clues table etc as we discussed just now that analytical paragraph the input we are going to take from these given charts or a graph data in the form of a table or some clues or outlines they may be visual or verbal right so moving on to the next part how to write an analytical paragraph when we start our paragraph we need to write the meaning of the uh, topic or the graph which is given in the question what is what is it talking about illustrating about so we need to write that in first two lines in the beginning after that we need to use that data or the clues or the figures given in the chart or the graph analyze the topic without any prejudice or bias when we are analyzing it we cannot be prejudiced or partial right compare the topic by uncovering the pros and cons the opposites the contrast if it is there in the graph or the chart or the picture you same tense throughout the paragraph no personal observation to be mentioned in the paragraph while writing it and use of simple and accurate language right so explaining the meaning covering the facts and figures after analyzing the topic discussing the contrast if they are mentioned in the in those figures and data and using the same tense throughout the paragraph without writing any personal observation from outside the input given and use of simple and accurate language right so parts of an analytical paragraph explain in one or two lines the subject or the topic of the graph or the chart given explain in detail what the graph is about using those figures and comparisons we share it is one paragraph but first two three lines about the introduction second part covering the lines using the graph or the picture using the data given in the graph then drawing a conclusion summarizing the entire thing in one or two lines right after that we move towards we move towards useful phrases to start the introduction generally we are stuck up when we start the things we think so here we need to keep in mind 
that we we can begin the chart describes the table suggests illustrates the data given provides information the graph shows so this way we can start our analytical paragraph because it is a description in the form of facts figures and numbers it provides us information so we can use this phrase or illustration illustrates the pie chart illustrates the graph illustrates like that okay now useful words and phrases for explanation and conclusion now when we have begun we can we need some words and phrases to describe that particular data if we see it from one year to another year it has grown higher we can write skyrocketing figures soaring declining increasing decreasing as it shows stagnation or stagnant starting to fall dropping down slightly extremely we can use these words to describe that particular fact or figure or facts or figures after that if we need to describe the quantities we can use nearly one third nearly one fourth almost equal very close to roughly approximately we can use these phrases and words too while describing the contrast comparisons we can use the phrases like in comparison to as opposed to the noticeable difference the graph in the year shows a noticeable difference so this way and while writing conclusion we can use the phrases subsequently in a nutshell in short right striking changes we can use these now let us go to the sample uh, figures and charts so this is an example of a chart the first example it shows india age breakdown right 2018 in the year how many people in what category they belonged to say for people those who were aged between un under 15 like from 0 to between 0 to 15 27% 27%. people those who were 15 years old to 29 years old 26% age range and percentage so particular age aged people belong to the particular category how much percentage they contributed in the year or they were right so 21.8% 30 to 30 30 to 44 those who belong to this category as per their age they were 21.8 moving on to the next bar if we see people from 45 years to 59 years old they were 15.5% the next bar 60 to 74 age group 7.7% and then from 75 to 84 years old 1.7% and 85 and over 0.3% now if we want to bring a contrast we can see in the last bar which is 0.3 percent 85 and over so people those who were 85 and above were only 0.3 percent contributed only or consist of this uh, or they contributed 0.3 percent in the entire population and under 15 they were maximum 27 percent and from 15 years to 29 years almost equal to the first bar so 26% and 27% a difference of 1% so this way we have analyzed the uh, we are doing the uh, analyze analyzing of the data right so this is data analysis and after that once you have analyzed the data you have done your finished with your analysis you need to transform into text form verbal form that is your paragraph now this is about a planet good planets are hard to find 
right we can give the same heading also and if we have any other creative heading we can give that but before writing we need to analyze these charts and pictures so this is example number 2 top marine debris items found in cleanups cleanup has been done in the last 25 years and this data has come up that how much trash has been found in uh, uh, what uh, areas areas means marine area but how much trash Uh, uh, which material constitutes for how much trash? Plastic bags, plastic bottles, tableware,s caps and lids, food wrappers and containers, and cigarettes. People often leave these things when they go for outings to the, those tourist places only. And the data has come up of, uh, after the survey or the study of uh, they have collected of 25 years. So it's given 32 percent, the maximum 52.9 million. That is cigarettes, right? Six percent the white bar. That is nine point five million. Lesser than that, what is this? Plastic bottles. So we get all how much plastic bags they constitute in this uh, uh, debris, marine debris, waste material we are talking about, right? In marine areas. So this way, dear children, we need to analyze and then write our analytical paragraph. let us share one uh, sample example the this is the sample of the chart and the data which is a small practice to analyze the data and now let us see this sample now this is in a table form the previous pictures that we have we have discussed we have seen is a bar graph and a pie chart so if a question is like this study the following chart and write an analytical paragraph based on it in about 120 words right so year wise percentage of attendance in secondary schools of india right the data here is in the table form and it is illustrating it illustrates the types of schools in india and their percentage of attendance in particular years that is from 2009 Then in 2012, then in 15 and 18, in a gap of three, three, three years. If we see the entire data, right? If we see, it is mentioned government schools in the city, government schools in the villages, English medium schools and convent run schools. So if we describe that in few lines, our analytical paragraph will take a concrete shape. Let's see how. when we talk of government schools in the city the percentage has shown increase from 52% in 2009 to 2018 that is 90% so from 2009 to 2018 a wonderful increase can be observed if we see the villages it is quite less in fact very less 30% 35% So 30% in 2009, then 35% in 2012, and then 39% in 2015, and only 40% it has reached. So government schools in villages need a lot of improvement in terms of attendance, as compared to we can bring the comparison also as compared to government schools in the city. Right? The data illustrates about the English medium schools. A, uh, an increase in the percentage in uh, during these years or with the passage of time in these years it was 60% in 2009 and by the time it reached 2018 it is 80% a good growth has been observed or the data shows or illustrates or depicts then coming to the fourth school that is convent run schools it has shown more than 85% in all the years 85 and more than 85% so a wonderful praise worthy uh, data uh, the chart displays about this convent run schools so this is analyzing the data and now we need to convert it into a verbal textual form and whatever we have churned we need to write in the form of a paragraph right dear students i hope with these examples and with these pictures we are able to write a paragraph let's go to the paragraph now we can reduce a line or two to make it 120 
let's go through this sample analytical paragraph this is based on the tabular data that we have shared or discussed just now year wise attendance in secondary schools of india the table shows year wise so the table displays the table shows the table illustrates year wise percentage in four different schools of india the percentage of attendance is recorded with a gap of 3 years from 2009 to 2018 we have introduced a topic that it is talking of year wise percentage of different schools in the country we have already given the heading year wise attendance in secondary schools of india after writing these two lines of introduction we can move on to the data part that we have analyzed the attendance in government schools in villages shows much lower percentage than much lower percentage of attendance in all the four types of schools the attendance in government schools in cities is much higher than the government schools in villages the percentage of attendance has come to my third point that is the percentage of attendance in english medium schools if you go to this if you see after talking about government schools in city and villages in a summarized way we have come on to the third point that is english medium schools so the attendance in percentage of attendance in english medium schools show an increase from 60% in the year 2009 to 80% in the year 2000 18 so from 60% it has soared to it has reached to 80% right moving back to the paragraph let's read let's see how it has been framed the table displays a uh, sorry the attendance in convent run schools is substantially higher than other three types of schools the table displays a remarkable increase in percentage of attendance in all the three types of schools all the three types of schools or all the types of schools show an increase right that is from 52 to 90% the first uh, row then the second 30 to 40% then we have discussed english medium schools from 60 to 80 and then the fourth row that is from year uh, uh, 2009 to 2018 in convent run schools also it has shown and it has uh, shown an increase right so this way we can give a summarized way that all the four types of school have shown increase right a noticeable difference can be observed between the schools in villages and cities it is quite praiseworthy to note that the percentage of attendance in convent run schools is indicating sound infrastructure and learning opportunities for the students so we have given a conclusion that it shows a praiseworthy uh, data uh, or, or attendance which tell us that the, uh, the attendance is very good wonderful excellent right might be very good infrastructure and learning opportunities for the students dear students i hope we have understood what is analytical paragraph how to analyze it and how to transform it into a paragraph uh, how to transform the data into a paragraph based on our analysis we will continue tomorrow also the same topic analytical paragraph right God bless you all. Thank you so much.